They've redesigned the hammer just in time for February 14th, Hammer Day. Let's take a look at what they've done to this guy who was already pretty good. We're not going to talk about his flood the board with purple moves that you've seen. You can see that in a previous video that I've done. Shadowdale has sent footage of the new redesign moves. We're using Trickster Roman Reigns and Striker Seth as our two trainers. There's one brand new move, which is the second green move we're gonna see. This black move has been redesigned. It was always a green MP steal, but now it's only a two charge. So you don't need an MP trainer, which is why we're able to buff this health steal move with Roman. So we're stealing from the opponent and giving health to ourselves. So it's a self healing process. And this second green move is a bleed move, which Seth Rollins helps out with. Striker Seth, more bleed damage. And bleed damage is damage inflicted on every turn, regardless of what else is happening. So against your green guys, like Next Big Thing, Baron Corbin, as you're seeing here, the British Bulldog, Rattlesnake Steve Austin, Nikolai Volkov. The Hammer's going to be stealing their green MP basically on every other turn because that black move is a two charge. So they're never getting those moves off and you're self healing with that health steal as you go. The one slight issue with this version of the Hammer could be getting the pin getting the guy drained down to danger to zero is going to be no problem but with this build you don't have a finisher you don't have a create gem move you don't have a choose move you're just inflicting damage so what what it's really going to take is getting the guy down to danger and down into that zero zone or getting the pin while your bleed move is active so that that bleed damage can can get the guy pinned because there's really no other way to do it other than making a move and trying to get a cascade or some gems to fall your way until the guy's down into that danger zone when the pin bar moves twice as much what that second green move was before before it became this bleed move is really what made him not very appealing and the only difference he had with George the Animal Steel who was basically exactly the same as this um, it was a change it was a choose move but it was choose gems of a certain color to change into gems of another color so while a choose move it was a restrictive choose move it wasn't a pure choose move so now with this bleed damage and the and the health steal you see we finished off four star Baron Corbin and we've got very, very little health used. It was about a three minute match. So not super, super fast, but you're saving health packs and saving health because he's not taking as much damage. Well, he's taking the damage, but he's re-energizing re his health with that health steal move. Now, unlike some of the MP Steel guys that you've seen that have recently been released, like Elias and, and the DX guys and Tozawa, this one is stealing only three per move. Uh, a lot of the guys steal four MP per move. So this one is only a three steal, but still, not letting these guys with the two green moves get their specials off is, uh, this is good defense. Um, if you were going into a feud and you knew that the oppositions were going to be running a lot of Brocks and, and Austins and Volkovs, uh, just having this build somewhere in your lineup uh, that those guys would have to go against uh, would be a real pain in the butt for them uh, on defense because of every other turn stealing away their green MP and stealing their health. 
uh, and making them use health packs with this bleed move. So not sure you're going to use this build offensively in many cases, but to counter these green move guys certainly, certainly help. I think if you were going to use the hammer offensively, you could have him in your feud lineup, but be prepared that if you needed to use him on offense, uh, if you were going against a, a, a technician uh, with your class advantage and you just wanted to blow a guy away quickly by flooding the board with as many purple gems as humanly possible, check out my other video uh, with the original build of Greg the Hammer uh, to show how effective that can be because it's, it's pretty impressive. It just creates tons and tons of purple gems and his finisher uh, is pretty impressive with all those purple gems on the board. So there's the redesigned Greg the Hammer Valentine. Thank you again to Shadowdale for updating us with this footage. Uh, enjoy this tour and blitz with the hammer.